Welcome to your new Tesla. Today we have brought you a detailed guide on all the aspects that the owner of a Tesla Model S or X would like to know. This guide will give a detailed walk around on all the aspects of your new Model S or X vehicle. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Use one of your backup key cards to set up phone key. Make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is on, open the Tesla app, and then follow the prompts. Once set up, as long as your phone is with you, your car will automatically unlock as you approach it. Power on for driving when you press the brake pedal, and lock as you walk away. When using phone key, you should always keep one of the backup key cards with you, wherever you keep your driver's license. This way, you have another option in case your phone dies or you choose to hand your Tesla to a valet. To unlock your Tesla using the key card, press it against the driver's side door pillar below the camera. Do the same to lock the car. To power on your Tesla so you can drive using the backup key card, place it on one of your wireless phone chargers and press the brake. These icons flash and your drive mode appears on your instrument cluster, indicating that your Tesla is ready to drive. If you like, you can pair key fobs to use as alternatives to phone key. As with phone key, when a key fob is on you, your car will automatically unlock as you approach it, power on for driving when you press the brake pedal, and lock as you walk away. If you choose to use a fob, you'll just keep it in your purse or pocket most of the time. We've also hidden some buttons inside the fob. Double press on the rear to open or close your lift gate. Press here once to stop your lift gate while it's moving. You can also press and hold here to open or unlatch your charge port. Double press on the windshield area to pop open your front trunk. The locks button is on the roof of the key. A single press locks your Tesla and a double press unlocks it. To pair a key fob for use with your car, tap controls, locks, and then here to add a new key. Follow the prompts on the screen. You'll need one of your backup key cards to complete the process. You can manage any of your phone keys, key fobs, or backup key cards from this menu. Tap here or swipe here to reveal your controls menu, which gives you quick access to functions you'll use most. Tap to create your driver profile so you can get comfortable and save your settings. Reach down to the side of your seat to adjust its position and lumbar support. To adjust the steering yoke, select it on the touchscreen and then use the left scroll wheel. Tap Mirrors and use the same left scroll wheel to adjust each side view mirror. Finally, tap to save these settings to your profile. Many other settings also save to your driver profile, so your Tesla will be just how you like it, even if you're not the only driver. You can link your profile to your phone key or key fob, and your car will automatically adjust to you as you approach it. Your cabin has a stockless steering column. Activate your turn signals by using these controls on the left side of the yoke. Press firmly to turn on your signal. It will turn off automatically once your Tesla detects that you've completed a maneuver like a turn, lane change, or taking an exit. You can also disengage the signal by pressing the control again. Touch here to flash your high beam headlights and reveal light settings on the touchscreen. Press firmer to fully engage or disengage your automatic high beams. If you prefer to dim your high beams manually, tap here to disable auto high beam. Honk your horn by pressing firmly here on the right side of the yoke. Touch lightly here to wipe the windshield once and bring up the wiper controls on your instrument cluster. Use the left scroll wheel to select between wiper speeds or set them to auto. A firmer press on the wiper control will spray the windshield. Spin the left scroll wheel to change the volume of media or a phone call. Press this control in to pause, play, mute, or unmute audio. Push it right or left 
to skip between tracks or radio stations. The right scroll wheel is for autopilot. Press here to initiate a voice command. You can ask your car to do just about anything, and it's constantly learning new commands. Press, release, and then say a command once you hear a chime. Let's go home. To drive, simply buckle up with your phone key in the car, press the brake pedal, and then go to the touch screen. Swipe down here for reverse and up for drive. Tap here to put it in park yourself. Otherwise, your Tesla will automatically put itself in park once you come to a complete stop and unbuckle. If you'd like your Tesla to automatically shift itself out of park, go to controls, pedals and steering, and then enable auto shift out of park. With this setting on, when you press the brake pedal while in park, your Tesla will automatically decide between drive and reverse according to your surroundings. The intended direction shows on the instrument cluster. Confirm that this is the direction you want and just press the accelerator to go. Swipe on the touch screen to select a different direction. Your instrument cluster presents the most important information while driving. State of charge and drive mode show at the bottom. Current speed displays on the right. Your driving visualization is in the center. This animates your Tesla's perception of its surroundings and gives readouts for active safety features like blind spot monitoring. Driver assistance features like auto steer are also indicated here. Navigation displays on the left when a route is active. The front touchscreen works much like a smartphone. It's your primary interface for controls, productivity, and entertainment. Your map is the backdrop of the screen and your media player displays to one side. Tap here to switch the media player to the other side or drag to minimize it. Your passenger can control volume here. As a reminder, just spin the left scroll wheel to adjust volume from the driver's seat. These are your recent apps. Tap one to open it and swipe to close. These are your favorites. Tap here to access the rest of your apps. Customize favorites by touching, holding, and dragging. Explore features and settings within the tabs of your controls menu. This status bar has interactive icons for functions like driver profiles and connectivity. To join a Wi-Fi network, open Controls to reveal your status bar and then tap the connectivity icon. Select the desired network and join as you would with any other device. Your Tesla will now automatically connect to this network whenever it's within range. Open Controls to reveal your status bar. Tap the Bluetooth icon to connect your phone for calls and media. Bring up the Bluetooth menu on your phone and then, on the car screen, select Start Search. Once your phone's name appears, select it and wait for a prompt on your phone. Select Pair within the prompt and you're connected. Explore the map by dragging, pinching, and rotating just as you would on a smartphone. Tap to select a point of interest or press and hold to drop a pin. Tap anywhere on the map to reveal controls for toggling satellite view, live traffic, and points of interest, including charging locations. For a detailed list of chargers, tap Navigate and then Chargers. Enter a destination here or use voice commands. Navigate to Giga, Texas. If you need to charge to reach your destination, Trip Planner will automatically route you to superchargers. Tap or slide to adjust temperature and reveal quick controls for rear and front defrosters and heated and ventilated seats. Tap split if your front passenger would like to control their temperature independently. Tap here to reveal your complete climate menu, which gives you controls from manual fan speed adjustments to heating your yoke or enabling dog mode. This is also where you position the airflow. 
drag to move air up, down, in, and out. Your preferred airflow position saves to your driver profile, so even it's set exactly how you like every time you're the driver. The easiest way to adjust climate is with a voice command. Set the temperature to 70. You can use the charging menu on the touchscreen to schedule charging to take advantage of low-cost electricity. You can also set a charge limit. It's best to set the limit within daily for everyday driving. Simply adjust to within trip from your car or your phone the night before taking a road trip. Uncommon issues that would require a service visit in a traditional car can be resolved in a matter of seconds. Try a reboot if anything isn't operating as you expect. Press in and hold both scroll wheels on the yoke until the displays turn black. Then, lift off the scroll wheels and wait a few seconds for the reboot to complete. The rear touchscreen allows passengers to control their own climate zone, heated seats, and entertainment, including the audio playing throughout the cabin. Like first row climate, rear airflow is positioned from the screen. Passengers can even watch videos and movies or play games while you're driving. Your car and the Tesla app will let you know when a software update is ready to install. You'll also see a clock icon on the status bar. Tap this icon to schedule installation or initiate it through the app. While an update is installing, you can't drive your car or pause installation, so it's often best to schedule it overnight. When you wake up, you'll step into an even better and more capable Tesla, and you'll be greeted with release notes that walk you through what's new. You can always access recent release notes by opening controls and then software. The hood is made of aluminum, so it's much lighter than those of traditional cars. To close it, set it down gently and then lean into it with your palms on each side of the latch. Explore features and settings within the tabs of your controls menu. You even open your glove box from here. Press here at the base of your phone chargers for your hazard lights. If drive mode controls are ever unavailable on the touchscreen, you'll be able to select Park, Reverse, Neutral, and Drive here as well. This is your charging kit. Inside, you'll find your mobile connector, which allows you to charge your Tesla anywhere there's a power outlet. A standard household outlet charges your giant battery relatively slowly, so we don't recommend it as a primary charging solution but it's nice to keep the connector in your car. You can also purchase adapters from Tesla that allow you to use your mobile connector with outlets that deliver more power. To charge with the mobile connector, first plug it into the outlet and then into your Tesla. To plug in, point the connector at your car and press here to open the charge port. You can also open it from the touchscreen phone key, by pressing and holding the fob's trunk button, or by pressing on the charge port door. The charge port illuminates in white, indicating that your car is ready to charge. Firmly plug the connector into the charge port, and it will first turn blue to show that the car is preparing to charge, and then to a green pulse to indicate that it's charging. The green light pulses slower as charging approaches completion and turns to solid green when charging is done. When you press and hold the connector button to unplug, the light will turn blue and then white. Once it's white, simply remove the connector and then release the button. An amber charge port means that the connector isn't latched and likely isn't plugged in all the way. Try unplugging and plugging back in more firmly. Red indicates that there's a fault. Check your displays for a fault message. Tesla's expansive and rapidly growing international charging networks ensure that you can travel anywhere you like with ease today. We're happy that EV charging locations from other companies are also quickly spreading. 
There's an additional adapter in your charging kit that allows you to plug in at many of these locations. First, attach the adapter to the charging station's connector. Then, plug into your Tesla normally. When it's time to unplug, press and hold the button on the station's connector and grip the adapter with your other hand. Once the charge port turns white, remove the connector and adapter together. Then, be sure to take your adapter with you. Additional charging adapters are available in the Tesla shop. Explore these and other accessories in the app. Your Tesla has regenerative braking. As you lift off the accelerator pedal, your car will slow down while recapturing and returning energy to the battery pack. It can take a few miles to get used to it, but it maximizes efficiency and control, ultimately making it easier to drive. As you ease off the accelerator at low speeds, your Tesla will also apply the friction brakes to bring you to a gentle stop and hold you there. This makes stop-and-go driving possible using the accelerator pedal only. Of course, as with any other car, press the brake pedal when you need to decelerate rapidly. Tesla Roadside Assistance is here for you 24-7 if you're ever in need while out on the road. Open the Service tab and you'll find the phone number. You can simply tap it to call. It's also a good idea to save this number in your phone. The easiest way to request roadside assistance is in the Tesla app. You can view status updates here too. This is your home screen. It displays the current state of your car. If it's charging, driving, or if doors are open, that will be indicated here. Your Tesla's name and state of charge show here. Tap the battery to view and adjust your charge limit. Tap to lock or unlock your Tesla. Turn climate on or off. Open or close your charge port or open your front trunk. Select controls for more including the ability to start your Tesla remotely so it can be driven even when you're not near it. You can always return to the home screen by swiping right or tapping here. The climate menu allows you to adjust cabin temperature, heated seats, defrosters, and more. You can even vent your windows. Open location to see where you and your Tesla are on a map. This is great for finding your Tesla in a parking lot. Tap for directions to your Tesla, to center the map on your car, or to toggle satellite view. Pinch to zoom out and reveal nearby supercharger stations. The pins indicate how many superchargers are currently free at each station. Tap one to see the types of amenities and the maximum amount of power the station offers. Send the station to your Tesla and it will navigate to it when you get inside. This also begins preparing your battery to charge as quickly as possible once you arrive. You can send any destination to your car's navigation from your favorite Maps app. Open the location in your Maps app and go to share it, the same way you would if sending it over text or email. Find the Tesla app and tap it to send the location to your car. When you get inside, your Tesla will be navigating to this location. If your Tesla is equipped with Summon, you can control it from the app. Pull your Tesla into or out of a tight parking spot, or use Smart Summon to have your Tesla drive to you as you monitor it on private property. You can also purchase upgrades and subscriptions for your Tesla that wirelessly add features like Summon. Manage any current subscriptions or explore accessories for your Tesla here too. Control Sentry, Valet, and Speed Limit modes from the Security menu. Scroll to the bottom to see information about your Tesla including your odometer reading, VIN, and current software version. Scroll back up and you can open your profile with... If you're an iPhone user with a Tesla vehicle, you can add a Tesla widget to your phone's home screen. Press and hold, tap the plus icon, and then add the widget. It's a quick way to view your Tesla's name, state of charge, location, and security information like locks and sentry mode.